Did you know that the color of the smoke coming from your exhaust isn't just a random thing? It can actually tell you a lot about what's going on inside your engine. Now, it's not always just harmless water vapor. Different colors of exhaust smoke can be a sign of underlying engine problems. In this video, we're going to cover the four common types of car smoke. Black, white, gray, and blue. Let's start with black smoke. Black smoke from the exhaust is typically caused by incomplete combustion, meaning there's excess fuel entering the combustion chamber. This could be due to dirty fuel injectors, a clogged air filter, a malfunctioning sensor, or even bad a fuel pressure regulator. If you're seeing black smoke, the first thing you should do is scan your car with an OBD2 scanner. It'll help you identify any sensor issues or other problems. If you're not sure about the OBD2 codes, you can visit our website obdcode.org for a full list of codes and their meanings. Next up is white smoke. Now, there are actually two types of white smoke that you might see. Thin white smoke and thick white smoke. Let's break it down. If you notice thin white smoke, especially on a cold day, don't panic. This is usually just water vapor. Depending on the outside temperature, especially in cold weather, this smoke is completely normal and nothing to worry about. But, if you see thick white smoke, that's a different story. Thick white smoke is often a sign of coolant leaking into the combustion chamber. This can be caused by a blown head gasket, a cracked engine block, or a damaged cylinder head. Now, let's talk about gray smoke. This type of smoke is a bit trickier to diagnose, but it usually points to a problem with either too much air entering the combustion chamber or burning engine oil. One common cause of gray smoke is a defective or failed turbocharger. If your turbo isn't working properly, it can push too much air into the combustion process, leading to gray smoke coming out of your exhaust. Another potential culprit could be a cracked PCV valve. That's the positive crankcase ventilation valve. When this valve fails, it allows engine oil to get into the combustion chamber, which can also produce gray smoke. Finally, let's talk about blue smoke. If you're seeing blue smoke coming from your exhaust, it's a clear sign that engine oil is entering the combustion chamber and burning along with the fuel. This usually happens when piston rings or valve guide seals are worn out or cracked. These components are responsible for keeping oil in the right places within the engine. Blue smoke can also be common in modified and turbocharged cars. When you increase the power output in these engines, it puts extra stress on the components, increasing wear and the possibility of oil leaks. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth automotive diagnostics and repair guides. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos.